And one of the most fundamental issues today in mathematics education is that kids don't understand how to work with numbers properly. There isn't a fundamental skill set for kids these days. And what happens then if they don't have the understanding is that they, number one, have find that mathematics perhaps can be quite scary, and number two, that they're not able to do much with mathematics later. The relocation property, which is what I'm going to talk about today, actually solves this problem. And we have found that spirit of math kids can not only work with numbers but it propels them forward to everything that they do in mathematics after that so they can do just about anything without any fear of using numbers. First of all, commutative law. I'm going to explain this to you. Commutative law works for addition and multiplication. In other words, a plus b is equal to b plus a. So if you had 2 plus 3 and let's use that here, We've got a 2 plus a 3, that would equal to 3 plus 2. Notice the addition is staying there and the numbers are moving around. In multiplication, a times b is equal to b times a. So let's look at an example. You've got 4 times 6 and that's the same as 6 times 4. Again, the sign is staying the same place, just like in the addition. For subtraction, it does not work. Notice that 1 minus 0 is 1, and that does not equal 0 minus 1, because this is negative 1. So commutative law does not work for a subtraction. Commutative law does not also work for a division. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and that does not equal 2 divided by 4. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. The, the relocation property works for all four operations. Let's have a look at that. The relocation property states the operation sign goes with the number that follows it. So in other words, the operation sign, sign sticks with that number and it moves with it no matter where you go. Let's have a look. First of all, 2 plus 3. Well, you know that that is equal to 3 plus 2. But you're saying to me right now, well, 2 doesn't necessarily have an operation sign with it. Actually, it does. And it's only because of the identity element for addition that we can say that. Notice that if you add 0 to this expression, it does not change the value of the expression. 0 is the identity element for addition. So now 2 has a plus. That plus now, if we look at it like this, you've got 2 plus 3. And you can move them around so that you have plus 3 plus 2. And you can just put a 0 in front of that. And you've got the relocation working by switching with the sign in front of it. This also works for subtraction. Notice here you've got the 2 minus the 3. Oh, sorry, you've got the 2 minus the 3, <laughs> okay? Now, in this case, remember again, 0 plus 2 is 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So if you take that again, and you can switch these around so that you've got that equal to negative 3 plus 2, which is also equal to negative 1, because you're moving with the, the sign with the number that follows it. So this is because of this identity element, 0 plus 2 and that would equal negative 3 plus 2. Let's now we'll go over here to multiplication and division. And I'll show you that relocation property works for both of these. So first of all, 4 times 6, you know that equals 6 times 4, but where's the operation sign with the 4? Again, we come back to the identity element, and this time the identity element for multiplication, because this is a multiplication question, and that is 1. 1 times this expression does not change the value of that expression. So you've got 1 times 4 times 6, which is 24. And again, if you leave that 1 times in front, you, you don't really have to write that, but you could. And what's really effectively happened is that you've got the 1 times 4 times 6, and you've switched it around, equals 1 times 6 times 4, which is over on this side. Okay? So the the relocation property use, works for multiplication as well. Now let's look at the division. Again, use the identity element for multiplication. 1 times this expression does not change the value of this expression. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 1 times 16 divided by 2 is still 8. So let's move these around. You've got 16 divided by 2. If you were to move them around, switch them, you now have 1 divided by 2 times 16. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. 1 half of 16 is 8. 
the value is still the same.